Yeah, they certainly are. You see the picket line here just down the hill from uh, City Hall. Teachers are walking the picket line as they've been doing for four days now. And this is happening as the negotiating teams for both sides are bargaining inside City Hall. The morning after another night of negotiations failed to reach a deal on a new contract, Haverhill teachers are continuing to walk the picket line. Every morning we've been super hopeful and every night we certainly have gone to bed sort of disappointed that we're not going to school the next day. So we're really hopeful right now. We're close. I'm glad that the bargaining team and the school committee are talking. This is day four of the strike and the second day in which fines will be imposed on the local and statewide teachers unions following an order yesterday by Essex County Superior Court Judge James Lang. While the job action today looks like every other day of the strike this week, both sides say some progress is being made at the bargaining table. The Haverhill School Committee has accepted the union's financial proposal, which totals approximately $25 million. I think we're on the one yard line. Uh, we're, we're pretty, pretty close to going into the end zone here. Still, until a deal is finalized and these 800 teachers are back in the classroom, parents and students are caught in the middle. I've been home a couple days this week. I've had, you know, been lucky enough that I'm able to work at home sometimes, but on the other days I've had to rely on family to help out. My husband had to take today off to, to watch the kids. Um, we just want the kids back in the classroom. They miss their teachers so much. And another live look here at the picket line just down the hill from City Hall. It is our understanding that negotiations resumed at 10 o'clock this morning and that talks are continuing at this hour, but no deal yet. We'll keep you posted. Reporting live in Haverhill, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center.